Hey everybody, Flubia Collector here. It is Thursday, June 20th, and it is a Cubs game day. I'm taking in my daughter to the Cubs game today. Uh, I thought with uh, uh, the National uh, coming to Chicago this year and seeing uh, different people or uh, different people talking about possibly uh, going to a Cubs game, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, in conjunction with going in today, try to do like a little uh, Wrigley Field informational video to help people, you know, decide to do certain things or not uh, uh, during their their uh, attendance at the Cubs game. So uh, the intention of this video is just to kind of give some helpful tidbits and maybe some video footage of different things uh, while we're there. We'll see what we're able to do. Uh, my daughter's uh, uh, just turned uh, six, so we'll kind of let uh, let her dictate what I'm able to get accomplished today with respect to that. But in any case, uh, that is uh, the intent for this video. So I hopeful, or I'm hoping that it's helpful to to those that are not familiar with Wrigley Field. And um, anyway, this is the first of many little snippets that'll get pieced together. to the uh, Cubs headquarter building here on the first floor. There's Starbucks and an ice cream place and that. Across the street, we've got the Hotel Zachary up here. And the big star is the Mexican place. The food, smoke daddy. And there's lights for the main entrance to the hotel. And there's a couple other there's McDonald's and that down the way. And then here, we're opening up into to Gallagher Way. This is one of the big areas This is the Gallagher Way area. At a certain time, about three hours before they scheduled the first pitch, this all gets blocked off, and you have to have a game ticket to actually get into the area. But if you get down here early enough, you can get in and play, and then they kind of just trap you in. If you leave, uh, then you won't be able to get back in. Um, you'd still need to get a ticket to get into the stadium. There's a secondary uh, gate to get into the stadium. So even though you might get into the Gallagher Way area, you won't be able to get into the stadium without the game ticket. Um, but anyway, that's uh, this is, uh, Gallagher Way. This is all part of the renovation over the last five years. The Cubs headquarter building here. Uh, that was all brand new construction that started about five years ago. They redone the facade of Wrigley Field. It looks really sharp. Hotel Zachary over here, a little boutique uh, hotel, uh, pretty darn expensive. Um, and then all the restaurants, that was all built. Uh, that's actually owned by the, uh, the Ricketts uh, Development Group, same, uh, same group that owns the Cubs. Um, so anyway, uh, down further here, if we keep walking down Clark, we're going to get to Addison, on the corner of uh, Clark and Addison is the uh, red marquee, so I don't know if we're going to go down there to take a video of that, but uh, uh, probably will. Uh, here with my sweet little daughter. She looks like she's going to get ready to have some gummy worms. So, anyway, uh, so here we are now, just down a little bit further on Clark, looking back toward Gallagher Way and the uh, Cubs headquarter building, uh, a little distance behind us. We'll be lining up over there. Uh, that's probably a uh, Ricky Field tour uh, group waiting to go into the stadium. Looking back across here, looking across Clark, there's the Big Star, Smoke Daddy, and there's Mordecai, which is kind of a whiskey and grill. The main hotel is after entrance. West Mountain Bakery and Tap, there's bacon there, McDonald's, and then Dutch and Docks over there. Um, that's all part of the, the Ricky all brand new development over the last uh, the last five years of the project. That all kind of came up. That's looking across Clark. 
Now looking here back at the stadium, here's the primary ticket booths, although you can get them, get tickets from uh, ticket counters pretty much all around the stadium. These are the primary ones. And uh, right close to here is the uh, statue uh, of Ernie Banks. It's out here. Let's see if you get close enough. You have to pause the video and you can read, read it. That's the uh, statue of Ernie Banks over here. So here we are at the corner of Clark and Addison. This is the location of the Rigby Field marquee that everyone associates with Rigby Field. This is the home plate corner of the stadium. Uh, where we were back there is where the uh, left field side is, or the third base line is looking back that way. And as, and as we wrap around the corner, uh, we've got the right field. Uh, corner or going toward the right field corner down at us. And then across the street uh, is one of the famous uh, watering holes, if you will, called the Cubby Bear. So yeah. we're down here for that. If you want to do something, uh, go in and have a feed or a drink. Cubby Bear is one of the famous uh, spots to do that. Uh, bar areas. And then pretty much most of the bars that you have heard of or associate with Rigby Field is collectively all these down Clark Street. And you can do that either either way. Um, uh, Clark Street's kind of your main main bar area. Uh, the other one, which we'll see if we walk all the way around, will be Murphy's, which is um, on the opposite corner of the stadium, um, across the street from the food truck. So here we are walking down Addison Street now. So this would be the equivalent of the first base side. Uh, this is uh, the development that they put on that's a condominium complex. This is not Ricketts owned or associated to the club ownership at all. This is a privately developed uh, complex. But you can see that they've done more things in here to support the, the life here around the Field from 7-Eleven uh, to uh, the main entrance there uh, to the condominium complex. You've got an athletic store, baseballism kind of unusual different baseball stuff in there. You got do right donuts and chicken. If you want your uh, waffles and uh, chicken sandwich type stuff. We've got the Lucky Strike Social up above. Where there's kind of food and drinks, kind of a social area, good for kids, kind of like a Dave and Buster's type of thing if you're familiar with that. And then over here, this used to be the area for uh, well, Captain Morgan's Club several years ago, then it became Fantasy Draft Kings, and then they've, over this last year actually, they uh, demolished the, the structure for it, and now they have just this outdoor seating, uh, seating area uh, for uh, food and drink and that. Uh, there was talk that they were going to put an annex type structure here, but they elected not to do that. Um, and so this is the way that it is now. And I guess Jim Beam owns, owns the naming rights now uh, of this area. So also over here they put in the Harley Davidson uh, uh, store. So that's also over here. Um, so looking back this way, now we're looking back towards Clark. Uh, that blue awning back there, I forgot to mention, that's one of the, the big non club affiliated uh, souvenir shops. All kinds of stuff in there. And then here's another one, Wrigleyville uh, Sports. That's also another big one. Uh, if you're looking for souvenirs. Sports Corner uh, here. This is at the corner of Addison and Sheffield. So this is essentially the right field corner of the stadium. Sports Corner is another hot spot. Uh, you've got Cubby Bear at the Clark and Addison corner. You've got Sports Corner here at Sheffield and Addison. And this also is where you'd be coming from if you ended up taking the, uh, getting off at the Addison uh, train stop. Uh, that bridge right there is where the train comes in, and you get off typically a red line uh, train, and it's a half a block walk to uh, the stadium from there. Also over here, you'll see we've got Billy Williams and Ron Santo uh, statues. This is the Billy Williams. Sweet swinging. Lil, get in there by the statue. Wave to everybody on YouTube. Say, go Cubs. 
<laughs> so you got Sweet Swing and Billy Williams there. And you got Ron Santo over here. So sorry Bob, just kind of taking some footage here for you. This would be considered the wind thrust gate. They have gone to numbering. Uh, I don't know if they've got all the numbering stuff finally. is and where the beach entrance is. So we're looking back now toward the right field corner of uh, Addison and Sheffield. Uh, here's essentially the, the rooftops. Um, if you're looking to do it, uh, Ricketts own a lot of them now. Ricketsrooftops.com is the website you want to go to. Um, and so this is just looking down Sheffield. So a lot of the rooftops here should be all the right field area. We're walking down toward Murphy's and the main beach right here. So as you're walking down, uh, they've got a lot of pavers around the stadium that people were able to, to purchase and get their family's name on there. Then they have big, uh, uh, big spots that highlight uh, different Cubs players. Leo DeRocher and this crazy guy, Harry Carey. Incidentally, you got Glenn Becker here, who's still the one guy that I need uh, or would like in a better condition for my 1971 Top Super do that. set. Mark Grace. And now we're getting close here. There's already people lining up. We're probably three hours maybe before scheduled first pitch, so an hour before the gates even open. Um, and people are already lining up to the bleacher entrance. Remember, it's, it's a general admission for bleacher tickets. Um, so it's pretty much first come, first serve once you get in there. And then uh, right across the street here is, is the Murphy's. So here's, here's the main entrance into Murphy's Bar. Don't be, uh, don't be uh, tricked. Uh, it's, it looks like a small entrance, but it actually runs about a oh, geez, good half a block. And then wraps around back there, kind of like an L once you get inside. So it's, it's sizable, but you've got all this outdoor patio as well, and it's, it usually gets packed. And, and during the games and then of course after. Um, that's right across the street. We're pretty much at the corner of Waveland and Sheffield. And this is the main bleacher entrance. You've got kind of another quintessential uh, Cubs uh, picture, uh, picture spot. You've got the uh, three division flags that are up there. They always up adjust them for the first place to the last place in each division of the National League. And then you got the Harry Carey uh, statue here uh, that kind of leads into uh, the bleacher for all the bleacher bums. Just a bunch of fans and he's kind of singing to the masses. <laughs> 